Hi everyone, welcome to Book Cravings. So, I saw this book on a booktube channel, but unfortunately I don't remember the name of the channel. It's a pity because I'd like to say thank you to the person who have shown this book on a book haul. I saw it and immediately bought it. I study book history and I have at least 30 books about books, but this is definitely the most beautiful book about books I have. The title is The Book, a cover-to-cover -cover exploration of the most powerful object of our time. I'm amazed. This design is so modern and at the same time it is full of traditional aspects. And it is so well built, really, really creative. It is created with a hard cardboard cover and classic red spine band. The spine is sewed, not glued, and the pages have amazing quality. I was very surprised with the quality of the printing on this kind of paper, you know. The colors look great. I started reading it and it explains really well some aspects about book production in a really simple way, but with details and photos and illustrations. I couldn't be more pleased. The blurb is quick. It goes like this. We may love books, but do we know what lies behind them? In the book, Keith Houston reveals that the paper, ink, thread, glue and board from which a book is made tell as rich a story as the words on its pages of civilizations, empires, human ingenuity and madness. In an invitingly tactile history of this 2,000-year-old medium, Houston follows the development of writing, printing, the art of illustrations and binding to show how we have moved from the cuneiform tablets to the hardcover and paperbacks of today. Sure to delight book lovers of all stripes with its lush, full-color illustrations, the book gives us the momentous and surprising history behind humanity's most important and universal information technology. Well, as you may see, the quality of the printing is awesome, with color images and the text and details in black and red throughout the book. The subject matter here is something I researched in my PhD, but this is the first book I find that is not deeply academic and at the same time doesn't seem to be shallow, you know. As I said before, I started reading this book and I was pleased with the style of the author and the way he divided the book in four parts about the page, the text, the illustrations and the form of the book. At the end, we can find a very useful index. So I will probably put this book on my main TBR, let's see. Have you read this book? It looks great, doesn't it? I guess this book will please every book lover in the entire world. I couldn't avoid showing this book to you guys because I was in love with it. So that's all for today. See you guys and thanks for watching.